40 years in Islam, don't draw image idols from God or prophets unlike you. You know, in China they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a mule, I mean as a horse. That is your case. Each time I debate a Muslim, I discover one thing. They have no idea. You know, they have, uh, they have no idea is connected to Muhammad when his wife Aisha, she was cheating on him, and he have no idea. Muhammad was receiving Quran from Shaitan, and he have no idea. Muhammad was reciting satanic verses, and he have no idea. Muhammad, he was not having sex with his wife, but yet he think he have sex with his wife, and he have no idea. I mean, this guy, he have no idea. So why do you expect the Muslim to be better? Here we go. Judaism and Islam do not draw Im uh, idol images. First of all, you are a black stone kisser. You have a real idol. Secondly, you idiot. Isn't it this is your Quran? Where Allah, he order. Suleiman to make statues. Is that your book? Image and look at the, look at the false translation. By the way, the word statue disappeared. If we change, but here they have uh, images. If we change the translator, this is Yusuf Ali. Change the translator, brother. In our religion, we Muslims wouldn't have images, brother. Eh? What is this? Change the translation. The second guy, the word Tamathi, you see the word Tamathi in Arabic? It's gone in the translation. What Tamathil? Tamathil in Arabic means statues. Let us change the translator. Until we find one of them is decent. Maybe one of them have a decency. Not to corrupt his book and say as it is. Here we go. Finally, we find somebody have little decency. If we call Zakarnaik now and we say to him, hey Zakarnaik, is it true that the Christians they, you know have uh, icons and brother sister, the Christian they are not for the The Bible says don't make images. And what the Christian they do, they make icons. And that's the proof that they are false. Hey, hold on, Zakarnaik. Isn't your Quran in chapter 34, verse number 13, it says that Allah He gave a permission to David and He ordered the genie and even the shaitan to make for him a temple full of statues and images? Christian friends, first of all, this is true. And I'm going to give you the Hey, okay, I'm showing you the verse in the front of you. The translating are reading it false. The two translators said that they would worship a statue and promenir and like, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, Taco Bell. What? It's like, it's like a Taco Bell thing, you know, like food, you know, in the, the, in the temple. What Taco Bell? Is like a neck, read, it says st statues, images. What Taco Bell? Great event. First of all, show me your face. Show me your face, I will answer you. Like, it's like a neck, what my face have to do with now? In the, in the middle of the, in the ocean, you want me to show you my face now? You know, save yourself, you are going to be drowning soon. Don't you see that you have a big hole in the, in the narratives? So the idiot, he says to us, that in Islam we don't have such a thing. So what is this? Images and statues and you Muslim don't have idols? When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. So this guy, he was so excited, he posted his comment, and now he will be biting his fingers. And by the way, don't bite them, lick them. The hadith says, if you eat my friend, don't wipe your fingers or wash them, lick them or let somebody lick them for you. Hmm. You see the hypocrisy and the stupidity? They accuse us of what they have. Secondly, about making images, you know, even those churches who make images, uh, you know, they have an interpretation for verses in the Bible where it says it clearly. And this is where Muhammad actually, he got the story from. I mean, the, 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 the Edith Muhammad, he got the story, I think, from the, from the uh, kings. Hold on. Uh, give me a second. I think, yeah, First Kings, chapter 6. This is where your idiot Muhammad, he got the story from. But for him, the one who made them, 
Allah, he gave control of Suleiman, he gave him a ring to control the genie. And Suleiman, he ordered the genie to build statues and images. Okay, brother? Let us see, hold on. Let me open. There we go. Let us go. Muhammad the thief, he has no idea what he is doing. He is still a bicycle. He thinks by putting some paint on it and he changed the name of it. He thinks we don't we will not know that he is just a thief, an idiot. First Kings six. And it came to pass in the four hundred and eightieth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt, in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the month Ziph, which is the second month, that he began to build the house of the Lord. And the house which King Solomon built for the Lord, the length thereof was threescore cubits, and the breadth thereof twenty cubits, and the height thereof thirty cubits. And the porch before the temple of the house twenty cubits was the length thereof, according to the breadth of the house, and ten cubits was the breadth thereof before the house. And for the house he made windows of narrow lights, and against the wall of the house he built chambers round about, against the walls of the house round about both of the temple and of the oracle, and he made chambers round about. The nethermost chamber was five cubits broad, and the middle was six cubits broad, and the third was seven cubits broad. For without, in the wall of the house, he made narrowed rests round about, that the beams should not be fastened in the walls of the house. And the house, when it was in building, was built of stone made ready before it was brought thither, so that there was neither hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron heard in the house while it was in building. The door for the middle chamber was in the right side of the house, and they went up with winding stairs into the middle chamber, and out of the middle into the third. So he built the house and finished it, and covered the house with beams and boards of cedar. And then he built chambers against all the house, five cubits high, and they rested on the house with timber of cedar. And the word of the Lord came to Solomon, saying, Concerning this house, which thou art in building, if thou wilt walk in my statutes, and execute my judgments, and keep all my commandments to walk in them, then will I perform my word with thee, which I spake unto David thy father. And I will dwell among the children of Israel, and will not forsake my people Israel. So Solomon built the house, and finished it. And he built the walls of the house within with boards of cedar, both the floor of the house and the walls of the ceiling. And he covered them on the inside with wood, and covered the floor of the house with planks of fir. And he built twenty cubits on the sides of the house, both the floor and the walls with boards of cedar. He even built them for it within, even for the oracle, even for the most holy place. And the house that is the temple before it was forty cubits long. And the cedar of the house within was carved with knobs and open flowers. All was cedar. There was no stone seen. And the oracle he prepared in the house within, to set there the ark of the covenant of the Lord. And the oracle in the forepart was twenty cubits in length, and twenty cubits in breadth, and twenty cubits in the height thereof. And he overlaid it with pure gold, and so covered the altar which was of cedar. So Solomon overlaid the house within with pure gold, and he made a partition by the chains of gold before the oracle, and he overlaid it with gold. And the whole house he overlaid with gold until he had finished all the house. Also the whole altar that was by the oracle he overlaid with gold. And within the oracle he made two cherubims of olive tree, each ten cubits high. And five cubits was the one wing of the cherub and five cubits the other wing of the cherub, from the uttermost part of the one wing unto the uttermost part of the other. All right. So, guys, did we see? Did you see? The Muslims, because they are a bunch of ignorant about their religion and about what we believe too, about our book and their book, 
they come to us with an argument which is destroying Muhammad. Because the Muslims always they claim that anyone have an image, any kind of image is an idol worshiper. But this is Quran. And Suleiman is obeying the order of God. So in one hand they say that the one who have images, he should not do that. He's committing a great sin against God. In the other hand, we see the Quran saying that God, he ordered Suleiman to build the temple in such a way. And he made for him all the genies subdued to him and they built for him. This is how we see always the ignorance speak for itself. And that's why they don't dare to debate us because whatever they say, we will spank them. As simple as that. They don't dare. It's a stupid cult. They forgot that everything they have in their book is a theft. And because of that, it's very easy to destroy your theft. I'm not going to talk now about the flying carpet to Suleiman, as you see here in the verse before it which is something they stole from the rabbis, not from God. You see the fool Muhammad, he was listening to a bunch of rabbis and they had books which is not valid. Stories, fabricated stories. They tell it to their kids. So when you bring me a rabbi, you should know that the rabbi is where Muhammad got the story from, but this is not from the Bible. Where in the Bible it says Suleiman, he had a flying carpet. Where in the Bible it says Suleiman, he heard an ant speaking to the other ants. Those other stories are not exist in the Bible. Those are the stories of the rabbis. And the stupid Muhammad, he took it, he put it there. I will show you an example of Muhammad the thief. And how the rabbi, they have an impact on him. Muhammad after start copying from the rabbi, rabbis, the news, you know, spread all over that Muhammad is just copy whatever we say. So Muhammad, he want to fix it. Muhammad decided to fix it. What he did, look at this. Muhammad was attending a funeral. The messenger of Allah used to stand, did you see the word used? <clears throat> Guys, focus with me. Do you see the word used? When we say used, what does that mean? It means he do it always this way, right? Used, used. Do you see the word used? Let me put more, more uh, uh, arrows for the Muslims because they like arrows, you know? You see Muslims? Used. He do it over and over and over. Until one day, in funeral time. This is how he prayed for funeral. Okay. How Muhammad learned how to pray in the funeral? Allah taught him, brother Allah. Okay. Where Muhammad, he taught the Muslim from the, the way to pray from Allah, brother, from Allah. Allah is the one who taught him. All right, wonderful, no problem. And then a Jewish guy, he walked by. A learned Jews, do you know what learned Jews mean? A rabbi. Once passed by and he said, this is how we do it. What? This is how we do it. What Muhammad said, listen carefully. Muhammad immediately, he said to the Muslim, sit down, sit down, act differently. Like, what the heck? I mean, this guy praying all the time, standing. Just because a rabbi, he walked by and he says, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently because we need to avoid getting busted. I mean, how fast? Did he wait for Allah to say to him, okay, Muhammad, change it, you know? No, right away, sit down, sit down, in a second. So, was the prayer coming from Allah or the prayer, the way he prayed, it was just a fabrication, he's trying to copy the Jews. What if a Jew, he was walking by and, uh, and Muhammad was doing poo, poo And the Jew guy, he said, this is how we do it, what Muhammad will do? He will flip his up, bum up and the poo will come like a fountain on top of him. Just because he said, this is how we do it, he changed everything. 
Even the prayers, the Muslims agree that the one who told Muhammad to pray five times, it was by the help of Moses. Allah, he ordered Muhammad 50 times. Moshe, he met Muhammad in the, when he was coming from heaven, and Moshe, he said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, tell me what happened, Khabibi. Muhammad, he said to him, I would sit with Allah, and he told me to pray 50 times. Moshe, the Jew, is smart. He said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, are you stupid, Muhammad? 50 times, Muhammad. You won't have even time to go to the Basu, Muhammad. Muhammad, go back to Allah Muhammad and ask me for discount. The Jewish people are very good in business. Discount, right away. I mean, we're talking about God. If you don't believe me, I can show you that the hadith. It's a very authentic. And then Muhammad, he keep going back, word for word, and each time he talked to Moses, and Moses, go back, go back, you idiot. You cannot do 40, you cannot do 35, you cannot do 30, you cannot do 25, you cannot do 20, you cannot do 16, you cannot do 15, you cannot do, until Allah agree at the end, okay, finally, five, five prayer. So even that was by the Jews. Reference, okay, let us show reference, because in Muslim they will say where it gets from. All right, okay, hold on. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, fuh, 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 fuh. Here we go. Reference. The book of Salah, Salah, my brothers, the word Salah does not mean pray. Salah means blessing. You see the book of Salah. <laughs> Chapter enjoying a Salah and, uh, okay, uh, difference reported, okay, now here we go. And this is Sahih, just for reference. This is Sahih. They cannot say this will be. Hmm. The message of Allah said, Allah the mighty sublime enjoyed 50 prayer upon my ummah. How many? 50. And I came back with it until I passed by Moses. Peace be upon him, who said, What has your Lord enjoyed upon your ummah? Even Moses, he speak Arabic, by the way. He say ummah. I mean, come on. Moses, he is an Arab. Hello? Okay. I said, He has enjoyed 50 prayer on them. Musa said, to me, go back to your Lord, the mighty and the supreme, for your ummah will not be able to do that. I mean, look at this stupid story. Well, this story proved to us that Allah is an idiot, and Musa is smart. Musa is correcting Allah. You know, you got Allah, what you, you gave you 50 prayer a day, cannot do that. Who can do that? 50 prayer a day? If each time you want to prepare for the prayer, you need between 15 to 20 minutes. Just to prepare. How you can pray 50 times? Because remember, the Muslims, they have to do ablution, tatalution, malalution, the Taco Bell stuff. So I went back to my Lord, the mighty, the sublime, and he reduced the portion of it. <laughs> what the heck is that? Are we... What? Like what, what? Then, brother, I came back to Musa. Look, he's going back to Musa because he need to get permission from the Jews. You see, you need to understand that Muhammad here trying to get the approval of the Jews, the rabbi. You see the story here, there's, a, there's behind the story. It might look funny for you, stupid for you, we agree. But Muhammad have a target. He mentioned this story to tell them that I am approved by Moshe. Moshe. Yes, brother. And I saw Moshe. And the Jews now they will say, oh, Moshe, okay. Huh? So we have to agree with you. So Moshe said to him again, go back to your God, you idiot. Your ummah, they are not able to do that. So to make the story short, Muhammad, he go backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, from 50 to 5. Do you see it?
pick up your Skype. Are you a Muslim, Mr. Wan? The one who's saying his name is Wan. Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, I will. Uh, uh, I am not in my, in my Skype yet. <clears throat> Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, I will open Skype just for you. Are you a Muslim? Do we have any Muslim here there to call us? You know what? I will open my Skype anyway. Maybe we can get a fish. You never know. <clears throat> uh, please brothers and sisters if you are praying like the Jews please sit down sit down act differently I mean I keep I keep receiving calls from those Chinese commercial uh, scam that's it. I blocked them. They kept coming. Uh, okay. All right. My Skype. I'm logging in. If there's any Abdul, he want to act differently and call me, feel free. Uh, you did not say anything about the topic of video. In general, you fake Christian copy everything from the Old Testament. You see, very stupid of you, George, to say we copy for everything from the Old Testament because we consider the Old Testament as it is our book. So you're a donkey. Don't call me if you are not a Muslim. Hello? Hello? We have somebody trying to call. Hold on. <clears throat> Hello? 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 Speak normally, or I will, I will, I will hang up on you. Speak like an adult. I want to ask, why are you not debating soccer night? Okay. It is a black. Anyone will act stupid, we will block you. All right. Only Muslims can call me. Anyone else will call me, I will block you. Is that clear? Any Muslim? So look at this guy. He is saying we copy from the Old Testament, but if you forgot, we accept the Old Testament as it is. So how we can copy you, idiot? How we can copy? Copy what? We have the book as it is. Not a single letter is missing. Dummy. Do we have any Muslim? Only Muslim can call. Why I need to repeat myself? You see, the reason is we don't want to do what the Muslim do. Two Muslims start talking and start bashing Christianity. We don't do that. We want to give the Muslims the chance to answer. So when you call me, you are wasting a chance for somebody else. He's a Muslim. And then when the Muslim, they see that a Muslim cannot answer, then they will leave Islam. But if you call me, say, Muhammad is bad, so what I would do with you? What exactly the purpose of this call? All right. Let us go back to the topic, then, as long as we don't have any Abdul. Somebody is calling. I think the same guy, maybe. Hello? 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 Okay, 
Let me block you. Block in time. Next. All right. Kids. We adult. So, as you see, Muhammad is nothing but an, an, a person under the influence of the Jews, trying to copy the Jews and everything, and, but he is copying their stories, which is fabricated, which is not biblical. You know, many people, they think, because somebody is a rabbi, that means he knew what he's talking about. My friend, the Jews, they have books, which is disgusting. I have nothing to do with the Bible. If you go and read the books, which is the Jews they teach, in their schools. There's no doubt that this is anti-God books, full of fairy tale stories. All the stories Muhammad he got, he got it from the rabbi books, not from the Bible, not from the book of Musa, not from the book of any prophets, from the rabbis, as an example. All of us, we heard Muslims, <clears throat> Debate Christians? Why do you want to debate Christians? I mean, you have to be mentally ill to be Christian and you want to debate me. Literally. If you are if you are really a Christian, if you are Jehovah's Witnesses, no problem, we can make a, a program just for you to spank you alone. Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormon, potato, tomato, all is welcome too. But our topic is Islam. Now, uh, if you remember, The story of the, 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 the punishment of the grave, the torment of the grave. Muhammad never mentioned this story all his life. Until one day, a Jewish woman, she came to Aisha and she said to her, I seek refuge from the punishment of the grave. Another kid, I think, calling. Yeah, I think this is the same kid. Let us give him a chance. Hello? Hi. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Are you a Muslim? Hello? Hi. Are you a Muslim? Okay, Mr. Hi. Mr. Hi. Block. Next. Hi. What is missing to say hi, Hitler? Hi. All right. So we find the story of the punishment of the grave, a great example of Muhammad the thief copying from the Jews everything he had. And he did not even copy the good stories from the Jews. He copied fairy tale stories from the Jews. Let us find the hadith, which is very authentic, and put it for you on the screen. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Here we go. A Jewish woman enter into me. Who's talking, Aisha? the child wife of Muhammad. Uh, somebody, he's a Muslim, he is saying this to me. Let us put his answer. Why you don't call me Mr. Mahdi? Sound like you are a smart man. Why you don't call me? The reason Muhammad started seeking refuge from the prayer, uh, uh, from that prayer was because Jibreel told Muhammad that even Muslims and his wives would be put in trial. Hmm. Well, let us see if it's true. The story in front of me, my friend. The story in front of me. A Jewish woman entered into me and said, the torment of the grave is because of you, but where? Because of what? 
because of your aim Tararan, 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 tararan. Uh, Chris and friends, I don't want to topic. And don't talk about it because I'm eating. Uh, so what if you are eating? Don't you drink camel urine in the side of it? I mean, isn't this your favorite drink? Beside the food? So what the problem? You drink it. Now it's disgusting. You're eating, not eating. You have to answer me. How in the world that Allah will punish us because of urine? Chris and friends, you are stupid. When the urine touch you, Allah get upset. Okay, what is the connection between urine touching my feet and Allah? Because you get dirty. And if you get dirty, Allah don't like you. But my friend, the urine is inside you anyway. Which means you are dirty anyway. Isn't the urine coming from inside you? What is the difference if it's touch you outside or touching you on inside? All of you inside, Zakir Naik, full of urine. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Zakir, open your mouth. Zakir. Open your mouth. He will not open his mouth. See? I mean, look at this stupid thing. But isn't it the urine coming from inside you? So why Allah will torture you for having the urine touch your toe? You know, this is, the, this is what he learned from the Jews. He will torture you. It's not like saying, wash it, be clean. No, no, no. He will torture you. Where in the grave? Wait in the grave, you are dead now and I will be tortured. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I am dead and I will be tortured. <laughs> and by the way, as long as you mentioned to me the story that the Muslims don't have pictures, isn't it the same story? It says that the three angels will come to you and they'll ask you first question, who's your God? You say Allah. You are dead now in the grave. And then they will show you a picture of Prophet Muhammad. How you Muslim you say we don't have images? Even the angels of Allah, they come to you with images and they ask you, who is this guy? If you, say, if you say this is like a neck, they will hit you with the hammer. If you say this Prophet Muhammad, you are safe. Let us continue. So a Jewish woman entered into the van, into me, and said, the torment of the grave is because of urine. I said, Aisha, look, Aisha is smart. I said, you are lying. What, what, what? You are lying. Aisha, she might be young, yes, but she is not stupid. I mean, this is stupid. This is literally stupid. And she said to her, no, the Jewish one, she said, no, no, it's true, it's true, it's true. It's true. It's true, true, true. No, there's Uzair is not exist. We don't have such a name, my friend. Arabic, Christian, Jewish, doesn't matter. There's no Uzair. Uh, Arabic, Christian, uh, uh, Uzair is not Israel. Same time, there's no person in the Jewish, all the Jewish books, including the the, the uh, 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 like the traditional books, which have nothing to do with the Bible, have such a name. Don't go there. So, is the rule we cut our skin and close it because of it? The Messenger of Allah, he went out to pray, and our voice became loud. They are fighting. He said, "What is this?" So I told him, "What." She said, which means the Jewish woman, she said, look what Muhammad he said, right away because she's a Jewish, Muhammad had to agree. He said, she spoke the truth and look with me carefully. What Muhammad said, she spoke the truth. And Aisha, she continues saying, after that day, after that day, he never offered any prayer, but he said, in the following prayer, Rabba Jibreel wa Mika'il wa Israfil, adding mean here, you know, so, so he starts, and by the way, he's adding names which is not in his book. He's copying from the Jews, and later he add them to his book. Mika'il wa Jibra'il wa Israfil. Okay, what about them? Grant me refuge from the fire and from the torment of the grave. Muhammad never. Before that day, he mentioned the torment of the grave. How we knew that? Aisha, she never heard it before. Who's Aisha? Aisha, she's a person who lived with Muhammad 24 hours, 24 hours a day. Muhammad never mentioned, I seek refuge from the torment of the grave. And this is why she was fighting with the Jewish women because she never heard this before. And she told her, not only this is not true, she said, you're lying. Aisha never heard. 
The second Muhammad, he heard the Jew saying that he occupied, he took it, he put it for him. I think we have a Muslim trying to call it, let's see. 